The Federal Open Markets Committee announced a new round of quantitative easing this week. The committee intends to purchase a further $600 billion of longer-term Treasury securities by the end of the second quarter of 2011, a pace of about $75 billion per month. You predicted not too long ago that gold would go to $2,000 an ounce. Do you stand by that and why? Of course, Judge. That's a simple statement. Gold adjusted for its old high in, in inflation terms would be over 2000 now. The U.S. government is doing absolutely foolish things. The British government's doing foolish things. Many governments are printing money right now. And whenever you print money, people look for a refuge. Gold. And the refuge is gold. The goal of the FOMC with these purchases is to pump up asset values by stimulating spending and driving inflation into the U.S. economy. They never get it right. They <laughs> never get it right. Geithner has been wrong for 15 years. And whatever they, and the people in Washington for 15 years have been saying, we want a strong dollar. And then they do their best to debase the dollar and drive it down. My view of the world is that if the world economy gets better, I want to own commodities because their shortage is developed. If the world economy does not get better, Larry, I want to own commodities because then the governments are going to print money. That's all they know to do. It is the wrong thing to do, but they don't know any better. They live in Washington. They think printing money is good. The plan is for the Fed to spend a specific amount of money over a certain time period purchasing securities. The Fed is now monetizing essentially the entire net issue of Treasury debt for the next six months. The Fed is attempting to reinflate housing to stop the deflationary pressure mounting from the tsunami of mortgage defaults hitting across this country. The side effect will be a surge in commodity prices long term. This will mean higher grocery bills, more expensive gas, and a continuation of the long-term bull run we are seeing in precious metals. Jim Sinclair, renowned precious metal investor, says the real number is not $600 billion in quantitative easing, but $900 billion when you add present in-place programs. This is quantitative easing to infinity. With the recent elections and landslide victories for the Tea Party Republicans, the question seems to be, can Washington, D.C. cut spending and stop the massive devaluation of the currency? <laughs> Don't you remember in 1994, they went there, we had a Republican Congress. They came in with a contract with America. Oh, my goodness. Don't you remember the results? Spending kept going through the roof. Well, we had a good run. Why do you we believe in the run. tooth fairy? There was some fiscal restraint. I do believe in tooth fairies. You know that. You've known me for many I years. I do you. believe <laughs> in tooth fairies. <laughs> yes. Royal Metals Group has created and patented a commissionable wholesale distribution system specifically designed for financial planners and insurance agents to sell gold, silver, and other precious metals. Join over 300 agents and earn commissions starting at 6%, helping your clients diversify into gold and silver. Move fast before someone else does. There are three things you can do to learn more about investing in precious metals. Number one, go to the Royal Metals Group YouTube channel and subscribe for more video reports. Number two, visit our website at royalmetalsgroup.com. Number three, Call toll-free at 1-877-234-0472 to learn how to become an agent.